Hello and welcome on Watches TV and today I'm delighted to share with you a very interesting video regarding a very special timepiece that this year won two prizes. Oh, kind of viva, you see? Two prizes at the GPHG 2022 with the Temps Voyageur by Hermès, a very interesting, intriguing GMT world timer type of timepiece. And uh, just before the GPAG, well, we had the opportunity of going and visit Mr. Jean-François Mojon from Cronode and the Hermès uh, uh, watchmaking atelier to find out a little bit more about this timepiece. And I guess our nose was uh, heading in the right direction with these uh, prizes that they've gained. So let's go and visit and learn all about it. Enjoy. Dans la même veine des complications que nous avons présentées ces dernières années autour du temps, nous avons voulu cette année présenter une nouvelle montre qui va parler quelque chose qui est important pour nous, c'est le temps et son imaginaire. Arceau, le temps voyageur, la particularité de cette montre, c'est justement les 24 fuseaux horaires. Le temps voyageur est vraiment un voyage de voyage, ça veut dire que nous pouvons lire le temps local et aussi le temps à home, le home time. First, the local time, when we read usually the, the, the time, is indicated on the subdial on the uh, satellite. And for example, here on New York, it's 6 hours 30 around. And by the pressure at 9 o'clock, we have the possibility then to modify the position of the satellite make a spring of one hour ahead and at the same time the hour hand is also jumping one hour. It's then very easy to know the time at different time zone just by pressing the pressure at nine o'clock. Donc on a un premier différentiel qui permet de garder le cadran dans toutes ses positions de manière auto-orientée 3h-9h, quelle que soit la position du du châssis. Ici, on peut percevoir une coupe qui montre l'intégralité du, du rouage qui, qui permet cette, cette rotation. Donc, on a l'arrivée du rouage temps qui, qui se situe au centre et qui, et qui va se transmettre jusqu'aux aiguilles heure minute. Et on a d'autres rouages qui sont liés à une couronne fixe et qui vont permettre au moment où c'est qu'on va corriger le châssis euh, des heures local time, de faire le saut des heures d'une heure euh, en avant euh, lorsqu'on se met dans la, la ville suivante. Ce qui permet une bonne lecture en fait, euh, euh, directe du local time en face de la ville dans laquelle on se situe. Et à 12, la indication est le home time avec le ring de 24 heures et il reste sur la local time indication et il est readable à any time. Donc l'affichage home time il est constitué de, de roues qui vont permettre de, de faire tourner le disque de manière traînante un tour en 24 heures. Et puis on peut percevoir ici la correction de ce même disque hein, par un correcteur à 9 heures et puis par un mécanisme d'anti-saut euh, lors des chocs. On a également la mise à l'heure euh, par la tige qui, qui vient rejoindre également cette couronne ici qui porte le disque 24 heures. And now for the time indication or the setup, we see that both indications have been set at the same time. And as soon as we get the, the right time, then we can also adjust the home time by step of one hour. The similarity between L'Heure de la Lune and Le Temps Voyageur is mainly the, the use of the subdial, satellite subdial. And then we took the same mechanism, but all the rest, the gearing and of course the functions are different and specific for the, for the Temps Voyageur. The Temps Voyageur module requires uh, less energy in reason, simple reason, because the, the satellite is fixed when the watch is running. It's just moved by the user. And that's why we need uh, low energy. The base movement is the Hermes Age 1837, sourced by Vaucher. It's an automatic movement, relatively thin, and 
is like a tractor. We, we name it in the, in the watch industry because we can add easily also module on top. The assembly process, first we receive the base movement from Hermes, then we build on top the module and during the module assembly, then we add the different dials and the ends because they are part of the module. It's not comparison with the standard watch that we set everything, uh, the dial in the hands at, at the end, they are really included in the assembly. And then module and base movement then are sent to Hermes for the final assembly. A very important task is, of course, all the test cycles. We simulate here in the uh, bench five years of uh, wearing, intensive wearing. The first one uh, shows the pressure functions and we accomplish 4,000 cycles uh, on that bench in one hour. That means after one hour we have already the results of these tests. The second one is the test of the home time uh, ring and we do the test in both uh, direction, anti-clockwise and clockwise, or sit during approximately 30 minutes. And the last one is the time setting, also in the slow motion, and then uh, more quicker as we then uh, wind the, the watch or set up the watch in reality. Ars le temps voyageur marque un nouveau chapitre du temps chez Hermès. Elle propose une lecture ludique et pratique grâce à son satellite flottant qui va nous emmener autour du monde. Well, I hope you did enjoy this video that uh, now this uh, timepiece has no more secrets for you. Thanks for watching. See you real soon and viva watchmaking. <laughs>